Yo, what is going on guys? This is Swerve here and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. In today's Jurassic World Evolution video, what we are going to do is simply show you how to make a petting zoo. Yes, petting zoo. Now, it's not going to be the exact one you expect where guests can walk in, play with the dinosaurs, but it's somewhat close enough to the fact where we may actually get sort of like guests getting really close to dinosaurs, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, um, this is how I've sort of come up with an idea of petting zoo so we already know that um redwood trees kind of stop dinosaurs and so do lights and everything like that and that's exactly what plays a part lights so with these ground lights if we put them so close to each other dinosaurs can't walk through we're going to do a little bit of an experiment as you can see here we are releasing archaeonophomimus stupidmimus and compsognathus here we have dryosaurus homalocephalus and compsognathus we're going to leave the compies to last, hopefully they don't die off, but we're going to leave the compies to last um, just so that we can actually have uh, the dinosaurs sort of, you know, live in there. And then we have compies which are very small, so arguably could actually walk through the light, uh, through the light gap. So um, yeah, simply, I'm just going to, I don't know if it's going to be a speed build or not, we'll probably have to speed it up if so. Um, but we are going to begin by placing down loads of lights and hopefully... Hopefully our dinosaurs won't walk out. So all you really want to do is just put lights very close to each other. And as you can see, they create like a little border. Going through. So as soon as it gets to blue, that's where you can place it something place something down. But between those gaps, apparently dinosaurs don't walk through those. So um, we'll have to wait and see about that. But this is going to take quite a long time. So I'm probably going to speed up here. Okay, as a quick update, I didn't realize how long this would actually take. I've been going for about two minutes now and I've only just done this section. So two minutes, two minutes, that's four minutes in total. And I don't really want to cover this whole entire area. So I am going to cut it short a little bit, um, but back to the speed build now. Okay, so we've somewhat done our first little area here. We're just going to give it a bit more... Uh, oh god, okay, it's a lot of a small enclosure than I thought it'd be. But let's give it some water. No, we can't give it water. We can't even give it water. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> so probably you'll have to put down water before anything else. Yes, I know about health. Um, you probably have to put down water and everything that, like that before. So um, let's just make it look a little bit nicer, I guess. <laughs> Our dinosaurs are eventually going to die, but um, yeah, let's get these guys also tranquilized, these homalocephalus. Um, press E first, tranquilize, and then heal, 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 heal. Let's actually move over the dryos now. Um, so I'll move the dryosaurus over because I believe they are the largest. Actually, no, I think Struthiomimus might be the largest. So again, as you expect, you'll probably need to make a fairly, fairly large enclosure here um, to be able to hold all of the dinosaurs in so it is a bit challenging there we are, um, to have all of the dinosaurs in if you ask me we probably should have planned this a little bit sooner um, didn't really expect it expect to see how long it would take um, let's let's delete these trees they're just getting in the way now um, but yeah so hopefully this is all going to work I believe this is probably a really good pet zoo uh, design that you guys can make because um, it doesn't really show any fences does it especially when you're like that but like it shows like the dancers just walking about wild so it's quite nice and maybe the guests can come in here i hope the guests don't react like they're scared um that would be a catastrophe to say the least um so we are going to put the biggest ones in first hopefully they stay in hopefully they're all right with it in the last dryo. let's 
let's hope for the best. I think we should be getting guests in relatively soon. Um, hopefully this works. <laughs> Fingers crossed it does. Um, I believe it does. I have like double checked it. They do get blocked by lights, but I didn't check them with small, small dinosaurs. So we'll have to wait and see about that. Let's why not liven it up. Where's the? Uh... There we are. Not for my mood. So they can just walk by and they can see the dinosaurs. Alright. So we've got Dryosaurus here. Let's uh, have some food. Oh no. Oh, we tried to go through, but we couldn't. We can't put food anywhere. Oh no. Oh, you're joking. Damn it. Right, so maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best idea. I think because you need to have them like ridiculously close. How is that Comsignathus got out? Okay, maybe we didn't take Dryos after all. We took a whole range of species. But it looks like they actually... Oh, great. So it turns out pet and zoos don't really work. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of it. So it's clearly happening here. Let's have a look to see where they run out. Because they're all going towards here. Delivered. Which, which, which bit, which bit? They're getting blocked. Is that bit right there? So here we go. Signs, ground light quickly. Damn it, too close to the dinosaur. Come on in, come through. Oh, okay, just make, make me look like a real mug and just stand there then. There we are. So if we put them like this. Maybe they won't go through. Hopefully. <laughs> um, let's move. Let's just grab a wide range of them now. The and any that's here, we'll probably just grab and place. Collecting asset. Another dryo. Asset requiring we, didn't, we didn't tranquilize them, did we? We didn't tranquilize the Shroofies, but we've got Arkies coming through. Now, hopefully, there's no other area Heading because, as you the saw, asset. they were getting blocked by this. They had to go through this little section here. I think it was that section. Um, so they are getting blocked by something. So it's definitely possible. I know that as a fact. It's definitely possible. What you may need to do. Um, I'm not going to do it. But what you may need to do is um, double stack the lights. So um, in another inside or outside layer. Just go like this. So it's like double stacked. And I don't think they'll be able to get through that way. So therefore you will have a nice little pet in zoo. Um, but we are going to wait for these dinosaurs to come over now. Fingers crossed. They don't escape like these these guys did. Oh god, that would have that would have sucked. Right, let's see if we can like lure them back in. Asset being can we put this anywhere, please. Oh, yeah, it's something you are going to have to watch out for. Um, but we're going to keep the water there because it was interesting. Cause they ran straight for the water, didn't they? So we'll have to wait and see. Don't tell me he's going to go back in because that means they have another way to exit. What are you thinking? Come on, tell me what you're thinking. Alright, we have our first dancer falling in. The Compi and the Dryo. Now, are you going to go for water? But whereabouts? That's the thing. You're just going to cut through light. No, you're trying to find somewhere. Starving. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Right, um, you know, this is quite fun. This is like a little bit of science we're doing here. What we will do is try to keep them here. Try to keep it as close as possible. Slowly does it, slowly does it. There we are. And hopefully, just hopefully, trial three will be a lot better. We'll probably have to put this one here. So fingers crossed it'll be a little, a lot better. I hope they're not going to go... Okay, they're not. Sweet. Um, right, let's move some guys over as well in here. And hopefully this will prove to you of how to make a pet in zoo. Now, this isn't <laughs> the video I was expecting to make. Um, I didn't think I'd have as many problems with it. Um, but we, we all live, we all learn. And I can't put this, this down anywhere. I'm just going to... Alright, we'll let that Hamana Safe roam free. But hopefully, this little area here is going to be enough 
to keep the dinosaurs away, at bay, shall I say. Um, I'm going to double like this, just so I know that they should technically be blocked from here. Now, you can make it as pretty as you want, everything like that. It's completely up to you. Um, but I'm going to suggest to you, if you want to make a pet and zoo, definitely put double lights down. Uh, just to be on the safe factor, so that dinosaurs won't escape. Hopefully we should be alright, because as you can see, they're crossing over, making a, a smaller gap to not allow dinosaurs um, out. Like, the other ones, they're just like, vroom, can, they can go straight through. So it's like, I think, yeah, because this gap here looks relatively bigger than the other gap, so I must have mucked up there. Um, but yeah, if you take your time building it, then you should be okay. Um, you shouldn't really have anything to worry about. But hopefully, here is going to prove that you can build a pet and zoo. Oh, this is not the video I expected. <laughs> but this is what you guys come for. Quality, funny content uh, that never goes right. All right, let's see what the Semalicephalae does. Now, have you locked on? Oh, that's so adorable. We go straight to sleep after being tranquilized. Okay, oh, and you're back up. Right, dead dinosaur. Great, that's not good. Where are you going? I don't think it can find anywhere to go. Now, it is registering that it's technically in an enclosure. What about, what about the compi? No, it's dying. No. Why? Okay, they're all dying. But this homalocephaly doesn't seem to go out. And as you can tell by the statistics, it says the grassland is, well, small. Which, I don't doubt the fact that this grassland is small right here. Population is low. And the forest is nothing. Let me see what happens if I put forest around. Right, there's no forest besides that. It has gone up just a little bit because of this foliage here. So, technically... Unless it's going to find its way out. Technically, we have done it. Because they were sort of going for food. So yes, you can make a pet and zoo in Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually intrigued. If we go into nighttime, how cool would this look? Okay, come on. It's it's possible. It's definitely doable. You are... Look, there's another one on the other, other end. But what you are going to have to watch out for is... Uh, oh my god, that looks so cool. I think that looks amazing. Oh, that gives me so many ideas, but it takes ages. <laughs> um, what you want to do, double light it, or double fence, whatever you want to call it. And um, I think keep it as close as possible, because where they were running out, I think it was this one here. The gap, as you can see, by the naked eye, it looks a lot larger than it does here. So I would advise you to keep them very, very... Okay, life and death, yes. Keep them very, very close to each other, and you'll finally have a working, I shall say working, wait, hold on, that's cool as well. I mean, just look at the lights, that's awesome. You can build so many nice pictures with that. But you may actually be able to build a working pet, um, pet zoo, or not pet zoo, sorry, pet and zoo, shall I say. Because this homalocephaly hasn't run out anywhere, so at least it works with homalocephaly. But in the meantime... Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I'm so sorry it didn't go as planned. <laughs> um, I had this great idea in my mind. And I was like, you know what? Let's try it. Let's let's try it. See how it goes. Um, but I didn't test it out beforehand. So this is a little bit of science, shall we say. And um, it actually turned out all right. At least we know it works. Unless this Amalicephalae walks out right now. Which will suck. But we're going to keep an eye on her. Um, but it actually turns... Oh, I'm sorry you're dying. <laughs> but it actually turns out we can build a pet and zoo with lights. Now... Top tips, keep the lights very, very close to each other. Keep everything like intact. Maybe double fence slash double light the enclosure of the pet and zoo. And hopefully dinosaurs won't be able to walk out. Now, pet and zoo, you probably want smaller dinosaurs, so ideally for that. But if you want to have an apatosaur roaming about this, it will take you ages to build the enclosure. But you can definitely have an apatosaurus roaming about being blocked by lights. Because there's no way it's going to fit through the small gaps. But as you can see, it doesn't seem like this homalocephalae can get out anywhere. So the big question is, will guests react to being scared? Will they get scared to it? Will they think it's not an enclosure? 
We'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, if you're brand new channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're pretty much on the cusp of 11k. Hopefully 12k will be coming soon as well. And um, I fa fell into more issues for my 10k Q&A again. It's so annoying. I think I'm going to stop doing Q&As until I have a, a professional way to do them. I have a professional way, but it's just some things never go right for me. <laughs> and it seems like Q&A is one of those things. So I do apologize. It will be out as soon as possible. Um, probably I won't be surprised at 15k. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, but if you want to help me in that situation, you're more than welcome to DM me. My Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and all the links down below are in the description. So go check them out. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. It's been Swerve. And from me and the dying dinosaurs... Peace out.